How to pronounce twice names? Twice. Oh, Nyan. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lady, and we are here again today for another album of the week. Yeah, today we are going over the one and only Twice's Nyan's album, I'm Nyan. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hit you with the meme in the beginning, but this is just what sticks in my head when I think about Nyan. But today we are going to be going over the rest of the songs on her debut album, EP. Back in June of last year, we went over pop. And I think that since it's literally been almost a year since it was released, like two days away at this point, my amazing patrons voted that we listen to the rest of the album. Without any further ado, I say that we jump right in and see what Nyan has in store for us. Like I said, we have listened to pop already. Pop, pop, pop. And now it's time we move on to the song that I'm actually the most excited about to start with for sure. This is No Problem featuring Felix of Stray Kids. Oh my gosh. This pairing is going to be like night and day, angels and demons. I need Nyan to be like, yeah. And Felix be like, no. <laughs> okay. Delulu. This is called No Problem. We stay up until the light Sunrise in the morning Look at Felix's lips in that picture, are you kidding? Can't wait until we reunite I cannot to ease your mind It's giving me Robin, Kylie Minogue I'm really digging her voice in this. The lyrics and everything, like I said, it's giving me just like pop girly. Okay, girly pop, you know? Neon, Neon, Nyan. Baby, let's go, yeah. Okay, that was Nyan featuring Felix, no problem. Like I was kind of saying throughout the song, I am really here for her lyrics. It's giving me like a modern day Kylie Minogue, modern day Robin. Something about her pop vocals, Carly Rae Jepsen is given just like pop queen, you know what I mean? And I felt like that's what I should have expected after hearing pop. Bye bye. I will say y'all know how I feel a little bit about this like bass driven chorus here. Not my most favorite type of drop in the world, but it's okay. I did think the song was fun. Felix's part, I feel like 
was slightly phoned in a little bit towards the end. I was I was digging a little bit more when they were doing their little back and forth moments. I was expecting a little something different from Felix on there too. Like if you would have brought a little bit of a darker side to the song, it would have gave it a different dichotomy and been like, ooh, who's this devil sitting on my shoulder? But you know what? Felix can be an angel pop. Felix can be a girly pop too. You know, he don't need to always be so evil. <laughs> Felix Navidad. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. He turned Christmas into the devil's day. Just kidding. <laughs> um, but I did like it. I didn't love it. Like it's not my favorite Nyan song. I've only heard really two Nyan songs. But I think I, you know, obviously enjoy pop more than this. But with that being said, it is a good song. Maybe not my taste, but y'all know we will always give credit where credit is due. Next up here, we do have another feature. We have Nyan and Wanstein for Love Countdown. Have I ever heard Wanstein before? His face is looking sort of familiar. Yeah, Taeyong and Wanstein, right? Love Theory. And I think if I remember correctly, really enjoying his voice. So let's check it out. I like this one a lot. Those hi hats just give it intensity. Yeah, I like his voice. Okay. She said it's the love countdown of your life. Life. I really like that one. More, I'm more of a fan of this one definitely than the one we heard earlier, no problem. I really did like Juan Steen's voice. Juan Stein, I'm not exactly sure how to say it, but the first time it came through, I was like, okay, sultry, sweet voice. And then the little rap part there, I was like, okay, diverse. You got it all. And then Nyan's voice with theirs, it just was so good together. And like I said, there's something about the bass of this one, the intensity of the hi-hats, it just made me want to like, do you want to be my lover? 
bitch. You know, like, you just gotta let me know. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Calm it down. Mm, calm it down. And let's move on. The next song on this album here is called Candy Floss. And we have Nyan by herself, the solo queen that she is. This is Candy Floss. It does give him very much twice. Little yodel up in there. <laughs> it's given like Megan Trainer, Christina Aguilera, and that one album with Candyman. I like that little hype yell part right there. These snares. What is a candy floss? I don't get it. Laugh it out, cause I don't even know what candy floss means. What is she flossing? Like she's flossing her teeth with like some some sugar floss. Something about it is telling me that there is like a a hidden innuendo that my little innocent brain can't figure out. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But it was a fun song. There were some elements of it that I really did enjoy, like when those snares did the little do 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 countdown moment. I like her little like yelling parts, the da 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 da. You know, really wasn't my favorite favorite type of thing that I would just put on me personally. But once again, feels like it gave me very much twice and there's something about a Twice song that'll change every opinion that I've ever had about music in my life. When it comes on, something about the girly pop just comes out of me. You know what I mean? Pop, 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 pop. And I just can't control it. And I have no explanation for it, so you really can't tell me nothing, okay? But this album is definitely shaping up to feel very consistent. It does feel like all very connected to each other. And I can see like how a single playthrough could definitely feel like a very full experience. Next up, we have a new song called All or Nothing. Let's see what Nyan is willing to risk to get it all or to get nothing. Oh 
I'm here for this beat too. And her voice is so good in this. I mean, it always is. You're not. But you don't want to fix it? Are you tired then for real? Don't worry, you're not alone. It's all or nothing, all or nothing. I'm already singing it. Saying no. Hey, all or nothing. I like that one. That was a good chill vibe too. I just love that you just really got to focus on her vocals in there too. The lyrics were fun in that one. Very real, but fun. You know what I mean? She's like, you're gonna give me your all bitch or you're gonna give me nothing. That's the only two options that I will take. So you figure it out for yourself and then we'll keep working. Maybe she's talking to herself too. I don't really know because I need to direct that as myself <laughs> for sure. But I did enjoy it though. I like that kind of like breakdown a little bit of it where she just kind of singing, giving her all. And she was giving. Definitely was serving on the platter. All. I'm I'm gonna go with all instead of nothing. How about that? All right. And speaking of on a platter, let's just get on our birthday cake because Nayan wants to wish happy birthday to Yao. Is she making a whole new birthday song that we gotta learn now? I'm I'm very, very intrigued with this, Nai Nai. Let's see. This is Nayan, happy birthday to you. But it can't be that. It can't just be like a song that sings that song, right? And you need like a good like rap verse right here too. I thought she was about to go in. Makes me just want to like do that kind of dance for some reason. Congratulations, you made another day.
like to thank you though. It's not my birthday, but it feels like it. birthday to you too girl it's none of our birthdays but i'm really excited that we're just skipping over all of those long traditions of waiting to someone's actual birthday to say it i think it's more of like a happy birthday to you like you won you're the winner congrats it's like a metaphor like it's not really a birthday let me know <laughs> i really did like how it was a vibe it was a vibe it was a happy birthday to you like how many people have sang that as happy birthday song in this last year since this album has been out like send me some tiktoks do people sing this to each other now has it become a thing is it a trend let me know nyan deserves it she deserves it we have one more song here left. This last one is called Sunset. I'm really hoping it's going to slow it down a little bit. We're going to really get some Nyan voice or it's going to speed it up a little bit and it's going to surprise the heck out of me. Let's see. This is Nyan Sunset. Okay, the organ. in this harmonies and strings you can give me that I'm sold No, 
that one was so beautiful. I love that one. The harmonies, like I said, the strings coming in that one. That's the type of song I'm singing in my car on full volume. I'm just screaming my little heart out. And I pull up to a red light, look over, and somebody's staring at me. And I like the song so much that I sing it anyway. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, it's one of those songs you're not going to stop me no matter what. We could be falling off a damn train going 100 miles an hour right now. But I'm going to still be finished the song first. <laughs> you know. But it's so beautiful. It's kind of just saying, like, a sunset is beautiful, but it always fades away at the end of the night every night. And sometimes it's okay to just experience the sunset, even if you know it's going to disappear. So the same thing with love, maybe? Maybe? All right. That was Nyan. I'm Nyan. This album was very cohesive. I fully expected it to sound somewhat like this from hearing pop a year ago. I have to say, I think that some of my favorite standouts are Love Countdown featuring Wanstein. And I really, really liked Sunset, too. This last song on here was just so beautiful to hear. I love those harmonies she was giving. I really also liked All or Nothing, too. That one was good, too. That was another one I could just see myself singing in my car. But happy anniversary to I'm Nyan. Let me know down below which one was your favorite from the album. And while you're down there, make sure you click like and subscribe. I'll be back with more videos soon and a brand new album next week. But until then, remember, I love you. I would love to know them by name. So.